Okay, first comes, let's place the chocks. So, ground crew, place chocks. Chief, place the wheel chocks. Copy. Wheel chocks are now in place. Okay, now going checklists. So, ground crew is done, verify check is... Uh, Fuel master, check engine feed, no MPU, engine count is pry, throttle is off, landing gear confirmed, down and locked, hook switch up, master arm switch off, air source is norm, main power switch, battery, FLCS test, check lights, back to norm, main power to main, EPU is off, comms set, canopy, close, Close the spider, canopy lights off. Come one and come two volume set and back up your chef is set on. And starting engine now. GFS start two. Lights coming up. RPM is increasing. Sec caution light going off. And 21% throttle advanced. FTI is increasing. RPM is increasing. off and we have a good start oil nozzle rpm ftit hydraulic ep fuel all checked and we have three grids for the lights starting so all um, steel points are created mechanical 30 
Still uh, loading bullseye, laser, uh, bingo, anti ground, MFD settings, uh, chaffer flare settings. Everything is done automatically, I don't have to bother about it. <coughs> Going back to the checklist. So the UFC radio will be set now, preset 1, preset 1 on VHF. Flight controls, cycle, check and correct, flick speed, so we start the flick speed. <coughs> Got a warning light here. And you can't see it, but all the flight controls are now moving in sequence. Speeds uh, snapping into the off position, so bit is complete. No warning lights. Uh, we can check the DBU, so DBU digital backup. We got a warning light here. We got flight controls, normal response, DBU off. Warning lights off. Trip check, I won't do it. And a few checks, I won't do it. They don't work in DCS at the moment. Sec check, okay, sec check, so throttle is idle, two brake engage, engine can't switch, goes to secondary, and we look at the nozzle, nozzle is closing, okay, and sec cushion light is on. Stop to idle. Uh, we don't have smooth ups in DCS, we have a big bang in the engine, so engine coat goes back to primary, then nozzle is opening. And we got greater than 94%, so we could. Okay, avionics now, so tread warning goes. RWR switch on, jumper switch on, ACM switch on, program set to one, CMDS mode set to manual, chaff and flares on, and tests the RWR display. is set DD UFC um, that should be good thanks to the DTC load but let's check this so TILS my frequency is uh, 63 um, I'll change that to 96 X-ray uh, change it band here we go Lists two for bingo four thousand check lists. Yes. Bullseye is both selected. Bullseye we check that IDM check and G gimmicks is now on as well. Next page fuel quantity. So fuel quantity is norm, we have uh, 6,900 on board. Reserve fuel goes to here. Okay, then that's zero internal. Okay, back to norm. And let's test, normally we should have 6,000. 
2,000 here. 6,000. Okay. Good. I'll check 80s. 80s come to 20. Decimal 2. Wind 297 at 4 knots. Ceiling 23,400 broken. Temperature 14 decimal niner Celsius. Altimeter 3004. Remark 1017 hectopascal. QFE 29098 or 1015. End information Papa. Okay, we have information Papa 3004 on the QNH. Okay, before taxi. INS, let's move to left position. Check. And we check here. QNH is set and altimeter is set and check. Okay, this is electric mode. That's we have uh, 60 feet. Uh, let's switch to kinetic. We have 0 feet, 60 feet difference. That's within the 75 feet difference. Back to left. We are ready to take some. 